space time. What's up, Get Fit fam? It's your boy Allende back again. Welcome to Authentic Alphas. And I'm in the kitchen this morning. I'm putting together breakfast, or at least I'm prepping some pancake batter. So this is gonna be a simple, relatively quick, and easy recipe for banana nut pancakes, okay? But they're gonna have a little bit of cinnamon doce in them, and of course, they're gonna have a lot of protein in them. So I'm gonna go over all the basics real quick. All right, so I'm doing the Get Fit Challenge, giving guys a program that they can use to get started so they can get on their journey, get their ass in shape, start actually looking like something that they would be proud of, happy with, and might turn some women on in the process. A lot of you guys are just neglecting the, the basics, man. You gotta at least look good before you worry about all the other aspects of being good or being accepted, being happy with yourself, being confident, all that other jizz comes later, all right? So when it comes to fitness, everybody knows that one of the most important things is going to be the nutrition. So before you guys start whining about you can't see my face, I can't show you the food and the ingredients at my face. You guys kill me sometimes with this stuff. My camera guy is not here. He's busy doing camera guy stuff, but this breakfast is actually gonna be for him. He's gonna be my guinea pig in this uh, get fit process so that you guys can kind of follow along with someone that's probably in the same position that you are. No fitness experience, no results, no gains doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't know how to get started, and I'm gonna help him skip all of the waste of time things that a lot of guys go through and just focus on the necessities, the important things to get those results as quickly as possible, all right? I don't think I know what I'm talking about. This isn't ifs and maybes, this is exactly what it is, all right? I've been bodybuilding for years. Obviously, that particular sport, this is what we focus on. This is what we specify, is how to get in shape in the shortest period of time. All right, so don't ask me about what anybody else is doing. If it's not another bodybuilder, I don't wanna hear it. All right, so a lot of guys do not know anything about the kitchen. They don't know anything about prepping their meals. A lot of guys can't even cook, um, and that is gonna be essential, all right, for both putting on muscle as well as burning fat knowing how to monitor your intake, knowing how your body responds to certain foods, all of those things are part of the process, okay? And they're gonna make a huge difference in how good you look, how much better you look, how much results you get, how long you continue to progress and actually get results. There's a lot of guys that um, they either don't even know how to get started or they've been working out for, for however long and their returns are starting to diminish, exactly, because they don't know how to adjust things, they don't know how to implement anything, they don't know how to keep the progress coming. So on this challenge, I'm gonna be showing guys the nutrition aspect of it, I'm gonna show guys what to eat, how to eat, how to put it together, how to organize, how to make it time-saving. I'm gonna go through all of that stuff for you guys, all right? Of course, those are gonna be for the upper tier guys that are gonna have access to those videos. But today, you know, because I'm feeling so generous, I'm gonna show you how I'm getting Woofy started with at least one of the many, many recipes that I'll be sharing with guys, all right? So pay attention, this is pretty simple. You can use it for pancakes or waffles, but I'm gonna use the waffle maker because it's just quicker and easier than pancakes, bro. I don't wanna have to like be there to flip them and time it. Just pancakes is just a big process. All right, um, I prefer pancakes to an extent. My girl loves pancakes, so sometimes when I, when I have the time, I might do pancakes. But when you're on the go trying to move, waffles is a much better um, gig. And of course, you just need a waffle maker, obviously. Uh, the next thing also that's always quick is oatmeal. So I'll be giving you guys ways to spruce up your oatmeal, make sure it has all the other things in it that you need. But for example, with this, you could literally get away with just the waffles because it's gonna have uh, the protein that you need in there. It's gonna have a good amount of fat and a good amount of carbs. Also, I'll also show guys, the top tier guys, how you can go ahead and make the adjustments to the recipes when it comes time to diet and be in a caloric deficit, okay? But right now, we're just looking for a, a, a good balance fueled uh, breakfast and Woofy will eat this breakfast after cardio. So he'll actually hit the gym first, get his cardio out of the way, and then half an hour to an hour after his cardio, then he can go ahead and eat, get that out of the way, and the training will be later in the afternoons and the evenings. 
All right, guys, so let's get through this real quick. It's not gonna take long at all. So I'll have in the description or, I don't know, edited it in the video somewhere, I'll have everything written out. But um, we'll just show you how fast and how easy this is. So you wanna start with the liquid first. This is eight ounces of whole milk. Me personally, I don't do skim milk and low fat milk and all that other type of stuff. I don't do all that weird stuff. Um, I either drink milk or I don't, all right? When I'm dieting and I'm avoiding dairy, obviously I won't have milk. I'll probably have almond milk or something like that, but I'm not gonna have a weird variation of milk. Um, all right, so two scoops of protein. We'll get that in there real quick. This is Herbalife protein, but I'm not gonna get all into proteins and supplements and different brands and all that kind of stuff, guys, so don't ask me. I'm telling you ahead of time, do not ask me. I'm not getting into that. I'm not a salesman for, for supplement brands. I, I don't have affiliates with people and all this kind of stuff. I'm not gonna be doing all of that, all right? It's not a big deal to me. Real food is where I pr prioritize. So for this particular recipe, I'm adding protein because other than the eggs, where else is the protein coming from? But normally, I would just be eating real food. All right, so I'm telling you, please do not stress me about supplements. I've had 20 years of people stressing me about supplements. And when I tell them I don't take supplements, they don't believe me. They think I'm like hiding something from them. No, it's not a necessity, guys. And if you think it is, ask yourself why there were guys that looked amazing in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and the 80s. Before these things existed, how are guys looking phenomenal in the golden era of bodybuilding if supplements are such a necessity to get in shape? So stop worrying about all that extra shit. Stop worrying about gluten-free and all, all these other gimmicks that people are trying to sell you. And just focus on learning how to work out and prepare your own food. Real food, that is. All right. So I'm doing almost a cup of the, uh, the pancake mix. All right. Get that in there. Now, almonds, obviously, you'd have to you know, get them crushed up. I don't mind crushing my almonds because I kind of like that shape better. Uh, but my girl is always buying like the sliced almonds. So for the sake of that, we'll just use the sliced almonds. But I'm just showing you both because should you not go with the sliced almonds, you can just wrap some almonds in a napkin and just crush them with a hammer or something hard, which I prefer to go with. I like the shape that you get when you crush, crush nuts more than when they're sliced. All right. Now we're just gonna get these uh, two eggs in there. And eggs don't have as much protein as you think. An entire egg, you're looking at between six and eight grams of protein, guys. And then when you do the whole egg white thing, you subtract the majority of the protein by removing the yolk. So keep that in mind. So if you're trying to get protein from eggs, just know that it's gonna take a lot of eggs. You're gonna need four or more eggs uh, to get a grown man portion of protein from eggs. Because I know these guys out there eating like two or three eggs and thinking, well, eggs have protein. All right, so the next thing is the banana because this is gonna be banana nut or banana almond flavored. So we get a banana in there. And this amount that I'm making guys should make roughly four waffles, roughly four waffles. All right. I'm gonna just top it off with some oatmeal. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, cool, don't gotta get too crazy on the oats. All right, now, we're gonna put a little bit of honey in there to sweeten it up. Obviously, if you're in a strict caloric deficit, and you're not, you're, you're dieting, obviously you wouldn't be adding honey to it. But if you're trying to get big, you wanna add real honey, all right? Real raw honey, not, uh, the cheap shit, which is mostly just corn syrup. So be careful with the honey guys because they tell you that it's honey, but majority of honey in the States is not actually honey. All right, go look into that and you'll understand what I'm saying, but that's actual real honey. I make sure that I get real honey. If you have honey and it can just like sit in your, in your cabinet or whatever and not start to uh, crystallize, it's not real honey. Real honey, you have a short period of time to use it before it becomes like damn near solid. All right, so I'm topping it off with some cinnamon doce. Now, if you're not gonna go all fancy with that, you could just get regular cinnamon, which is right here, but I like the 
fancy stuff. And I got this from my homeboy at Starbucks. He's a manager. So I said, yo, give me some of that cinnamon noche. He's like, I got you, homie. But uh, you can order it. I know you can order it like on Amazon and all that. All right, so this is ready to go. And like I said, I'm prepping this. I'm actually not, we're not actually eating this anytime soon. This is for tomorrow morning. I'm um, just prepping it so that I don't have to do all of this in the morning when we're trying to move quickly um, and get a bunch of stuff done. You'll be able to just pour this and this and then pour it in the waffle maker and the waffles make in like, I don't know, two, three minutes each. The waffles, the waffle maker makes them pretty damn quick. All right, so I put all of that in here, throw it in the blender. Well, you, you first plug in the blender. I'm always plugging this blender out to plug something else in, but anyhow, plug in the rice cooker, which also is awesome. The rice cooker saves you a bunch of time, guys. All right, so let me show you. So the rice cooker saves you a bunch of time. So um, I, I, the point I'm, I'm, I'm going for, guys, is that I don't want to hear like, oh, I don't have time to prep my own meals and all that kind of stuff. When, when guys say that kind of shit, it like almost makes my ears bleed, okay? Because it's a very, like, <sighs> It's a very ass backwards statement because it actually takes you more time to go look for food and to go somewhere and wait for them to cook food and order food and all that other shit than it takes to learn how to quickly prep your food yourself at home. See how I'm showing you a rice cooker? That rice cooker makes the rice in like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something. Then your meats, you shouldn't be like, you know, frying stuff in a pan and doing all this. You should be baking your meats. Now, I just described two ways to cook food that you don't have to like be attentive. So you literally can like put your rice to cook. You can put like some pasta or something to boil. You can put meats in the oven to bake. And then you can just eat your vegetables lightly steamed like you should, which only takes a couple of minutes. Any longer than that, they're not lightly steamed, they're overcooked. And then you can go like shower, wash your nutsack. You can do a whole bunch of other things. You can go groom your beard. You can go iron your clothes. You can do a bunch of stuff in that 20, 25 minute period of time that it takes for your meats to bake and for your rice to cook in, in some type of rice cooker, or it takes water to boil pasta. So I don't wanna hear you don't have time to cook, guys, because it takes like literally no time whatsoever to cook, especially when you're cooking healthy. And you see how I'm like prepping my uh, batter ahead of time? That's so when I'm ready to like move quickly, I could just throw it in the waffle maker real quick. Throw it on a plate, grab my syrup, and I'm ready to go. Even if you're making eggs, scrambling eggs takes like no time. So stop making excuses what I'm trying to say and get used to the routine of it and it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and you end up actually saving yourself time and money. All right, so even though I'm not dieting, this pan is zero calories. You just spray it once at the bottom, spray it once at the top of the waffle maker, you're ready to go. Preheat the waffle maker. And I'm only gonna make one waffle, just to demonstrate real quick, and I'm out of here. And I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and just sprinkle those uh, nuts in there. I also like the different uh, cereals in the waffle, like I make Fruit Loop flavored waffles and put the Fruit Loops in there. Those are awesome. You can do Apple Jacks. That's awesome. So it's just something else to think about. Now, several different type of fruits that you can put in your waffles or pancakes. The idea is not to be bored with your food. The idea is to be satisfied with your food, but still get all the G stuff that you need, the right amount of protein, the right amount of quality carbs, all of that. The idea is to get all of that and enjoy the food. This is actually more than enough for one pancake. 
But anyhow, it's good to use the serving cup. That way you make sure you put the, same, the right amount in all of them or not. Like I said, the more you do it is the more you get good at it. You learn how to eyeball your stuff. You know how much of everything to use. Now, you see how the batter is relatively watery? That's how you want it. You don't want the batter too thick because you want your, your, your pancakes or your waffles to be fluffy. Get fit fam with my boy Woofy. We're out here getting this fasted cardio. First thing in the morning on an empty stomach, just uh coffee black. That's what's in the cup. We started off with hot coffee, but he a young nigga, so he prefer his coffee ice. So I'm pretty much doing whatever he's doing this morning, just out of support. So <laughs> so uh you know we we were planning to do the cardio on like the treadmill or elliptical, something like that, but we actually realized that I forgot some essential equipment at my warehouse. So we said, all right, let's be smart. Kill two birds with one stone. So we're walking to the warehouse since it's only a mile away to go pick up what we got to pick up. That way he gets his cardio and we get what we need to get and save time. So the point I'm making to y'all is that there's no excuses when it comes to your morning cardio. If you want to get fit, the number one thing is daily fasted cardio first thing in the morning. There's a reason why it's like that. I don't want to hear, oh no, no, I got my cardio in. I did my cardio in the afternoon, so I'm okay. No. First thing in the morning, when your insulin is at the lowest point, it's called breakfast because you're breaking fast. So when you wake up, you haven't eaten in five, six, seven hours, however long you slept, you haven't eaten in that amount of time. That's when the body is gonna have to burn from fat storage because you don't have any food. You don't have no uh, no glycogen in your bloodstream. So do what you're told, guys. If you're gonna jump into the Get Fit Challenge, if you're gonna get amazing results in a short period of time, it's gonna require obedience. I'm not gonna stress the why, I'm gonna stress the how, because who has time to explain the why? All right, if that's the case, go to nutrition class, go to fitness, go, go to school for it, go to university for it if you wanna know the why. But if you wanna look amazing, and get in the best shape of your life, then just shut up and focus on the how and don't try to question it and change it. And what about this, Allende? And what if I do this? And what if I do that? What if you just do what I told you to do? All right, so Wolfie is gonna show you what happens when you just do what you're told. Um, That's it. And then we're gonna enjoy it. We out here with our iced coffee. You, you know what I'm saying? It's hot as hell out here in Miami. But the point is, is that he's gonna start tapping into that belly fat ASAP. When we get back to the crib, we're gonna go ahead and bust down the uh, the breakfast, and that breakfast is gonna be that much better because you had to earn it. So you have to earn every damn thing. That's how you make it gratifying. You make it feel better, taste better, smell better. You know what I mean? You go celibate for a couple of few months or whatever. The next time you get in some punani, it's gonna feel amazing, amazing. All right, but if you smash the same chick every damn night like a thirst bucket. It's gonna it's gonna lose its luster all right guys so put the pressure on yourself challenge yourself that's how you get the results that's how you build the character and the 
the self-esteem and the confidence and all that stuff that guys are lacking nowadays. Again, I'm gonna show you the how. All right, so we're out of here. What you doing over there? You know, Wolfie gotta stay with a camera, bro. That's rule number one of being my cameraman. You gotta stay with a camera. Cause you never know, I might cold approach, I might knock somebody out, anything can happen, guys. Uh, but now finally it will be documented. That's the good news. All right, so we're out of here. Get your ass up, do that damn cardio. If you're ready to get up in the fitness challenge, you got like 10 days uh, to get on board. Get in the email. I'm gonna put a phone number in there also so guys can contact me on the business line. I got a whole other phone number just for that, just to interact with guys and give them uh, that tech support that they need so they know what to do and they know how to do it. All right, guys, see you on the next one. All right, my dude. All right, so Wolfie is back from his cardio. Take a shower change right now. We're getting these waffles banged out real quick. Look at that shit. Looking just like cinnamonly perfect and all like that. So got a couple more to make and then we're gonna eat and get on the road, heading to Orlando. Got some content to get out there. Got Disney, got the parks, got the Red Man Group interview with um, with AJ, ADJ, Anthony Dream Johnson. So yeah, man. Keeping it moving, keeping it trucking. How you feeling, Wolfie? Fine. I know you're hungry as shit, man. All that damn plastic cardio. <laughs> but we're getting it in, though. In beautiful Miami. Hit your bitch up, now she Hit your All right, fellas. So, Wolfie is finishing some stuff up on the laptop, but he's finally ready to eat his breakfast. So, there goes the, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> famous... Banana, nuts, cinnamon, protein, waffles. So, you know, he's gonna get some sugar in his system. Got plenty of protein on there. Carbs, all that good shit. He got his water. You know, we're doing a, a gallon and a half of water a day. So, how, how you feeling with it? Sorry. You start, <laughs> besides <laughs> that, besides, besides that, bro. Oh, man, I feel like I'm... I'm sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm ready to eat this. Shit, yo, you got that banner right there? You should pull that banner up right quick. Oh, man, yeah. So we about to head to uh, Orlando. We about to hit up the damn parks. We got um, we got passes for all of the parks. So we're gonna hit up all the rides and all that stuff. So if you just tightening up the banner, I don't know if I get this thing to focus. There it go, it's focused. So yeah, we just hitting up the banner. Authentic Alphas you got the Brooklyn Bridge going into Miami because you know I'm from Brooklyn and I live in Miami. So we got the fitness. Boom, we got the. You know what I'm saying? The oh. GQ debonair. So, boom. You know what I'm saying? All in one. Mm -hmm. We working over here, y'all. All right? So, listen, man. Get Fit Challenge. You already know what it is. Every morning I wake up, there's at least one more person joining in. So, that's what we like to see. Let's everybody get in. Let's all get these gains together. Don't let Wolfie be the only one getting these gains. Bro, Wolfie, show them the stomach, bro. Because it's, it's going to be gone soon. So, oh, show, show, them this, show, show them this limited time offer on your, on your stomach, on the gut. So yeah, so so in 90 days, that's gonna be abs, bro. I guarantee you. I actually won. Well, you got one. Really? You're gonna have plenty of abs. All right, so guys, take take note, cause the shit the shit the shit gonna be gone soon. So so you know what I'm saying? Take note, and we out of here. Peace. I gotta go out.